Welcome guys! We are back with another video. Today we'll talk about anti-aliasing and how we can use it to enhance our gaming experience. Some of you PC gamers have probably encountered a graphics card that can't handle their favorite games at some point. As you probably know, your display is composed of pixels. This is the smallest element of every digital image, and while modern TV and computer monitors boast high resolutions that feature millions of pixels, these pixels are still rectangular in shape. What this means is that when round shapes are shown on screen, you're almost guaranteed to see some jagged edges, that is, aliasing. Those blocky, pixelated edges you see in your PC games are commonly referred to as jaggies. Most of the time, you can eliminate jaggies by boosting your screen resolution. But that's not possible for all gamers. If you have an older GPU or if your GPU isn't built for gaming, you might not be able to reach higher resolutions without suffering serious slowdown on your game. That's when you could really benefit from anti-aliasing. What exactly is anti-aliasing and how can you use it to improve the graphics on your games? Let's find out. Anti-aliasing is a method by which you can eliminate jaggies that appear in objects in PC games. It encompasses a variety of techniques used to get rid of jagged edges on your screen that appear as a result of rectangular pixels forming non-rectangular shapes. It removes jagged edges by adding subtle color changes around the lines, tricking the human eye into thinking that the lines are not jagged. The slight changes in color around the edges of an image help the line blend around curves, giving the impression that the line is true. These color changes are made on a very small scale that the human eye cannot detect under normal circumstances. However, it's still not as simple as that. There are different methods of anti-aliasing that vary based on the amount of computing it needs and how it actually blends the image pixels. Let's take a look at each of them. Multisample anti-aliasing This type of anti-aliasing method is the most commonly used. This is because it gives the perfect balance between quality and performance. What it basically does is that it takes each pixel and manipulates the edges so that it becomes a color that is somewhere in between the two pixels with different colors. This creates a blending effect that gives the illusion of smoother, curved edges rather than tiny squares. Temporal anti-aliasing This type of anti-aliasing utilizes multisample anti-aliasing and combines it with filters that are commonly used in computer-generated images. The same technology used in blockbuster movies with fancy, mind-blowing effects. It uses samples both inside and outside each pixel. This can make smooth transitions, which can look great in games with moving foliage. It's the option that gives you the most out of quality. Morphological anti-aliasing This anti-aliasing method, just like temporal anti-aliasing, is a filtering technique that occurs post-processing. Using color data, it actively looks for the jagged edges in images through the differences among the pixels. Compared to the temporal anti-aliasing method, which prioritizes quality over performance, morphological anti-aliasing is not that taxing on your computer. It is much more efficient at balancing quality and performance as it only uses what is necessary. Supersample anti-aliasing This is the oldest, most basic method of anti-aliasing and from which every other method has evolved. It is also the most effective method by far, but be warned. This will take up a lot of memory on your computer, so you better have the right equipment for it. The reason behind that is that it takes each individual pixel and analyzes its color and that of the pixels surrounding it. Super sample anti-aliasing works by rendering your game graphics at a higher resolution and then it downsamples, meaning that it shrinks the image to adapt to that resolution. Hence the image becomes sharper. Fast Approximate Anti-Aliasing The Fast Approximate Anti-Aliasing method, as you might have guessed from its name alone, is a faster and more demanding technique of anti-aliasing. The great thing about this is that it processes all of the pixels on the screen, smoothing all of their edges. It does more work than super sample anti-aliasing because it doesn't disregard pixels that resulted from shader effects. You get a pretty obvious decline in the amount of aliasing in your images, but it would cost you a lot. There are a lot of anti-aliasing methods out there, so you're probably wondering which one you should use. It varies from person to person based on several factors, but really comes down to personal preference. And, also, how powerful of a GPU your budget can handle. 
Anti-aliasing can sometimes be an intimidating concept to a new gamer. We've all been there. It's important to know that anti-aliasing is there for a purpose that is to make our gaming experience better and more immersive. If you know what kind of equipment you're working with and what kind of performance you want out of your computer, then it would be easier to decide which method is more applicable to your setup. That's it for today. We'll be back with another amazing and exciting video for you. Stay tuned and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.